All right, guys, what is up? Welcome back to the channel, guys. Uh, I just want to go ahead and shout out, if you missed the last video uh, explaining some issues we're having with the black truck, go ahead and click that link up above. Uh, but guys, anyway, uh, we want to talk about what we're doing today. We're going to go ahead and jump right into it. it. Involves this bad boy right here. Big old beefy of a control arm for the black truck. I actually, we ordered these before the transmission started making noise, so you know, there's that. But guys, uh, the reason why we're doing this is because the truck has Detroit axle, upper control arms and guys i haven't had too many issues with that i've had them on on the truck about a year but you also have to remember i have a two and a half two and a half inch leveling kit and i also was running 35 to a 50 20 tires i've since swapped to some highway tread they're like 33 11 50s uh, i guess is what the measurements on i swapped for those just for the fact of uh, at the moment everything is sky high and super hard to get uh, so i'm going to go ahead and do a full setup for that truck like a full lift uh, wheels and tires and everything more down the road uh, I want to get the transmission fixed. Uh, I really want to get the truck ironed out and running good before I really worry about too many cosmetic stuff. But this right here is something I need to get the alignment to make sure that these tires I just put on wear good. So guys, I'm going to bring you along for the ride and I want to let you know what I think of these things. And uh, we're going to check out the ball joint angle before and after to see if there's really any difference because these are rated for a zero to two inch lift. I got two and a half inch, so we'll be pushing the boundaries as always. But let's go ahead and get started then, guys. All right, guys. So this is what the factory angle on the ball joints is with the Detroit axles. As you can tell, guys, that's a lot of angle on a regular ball joint. And these are non-serviceable, so you can't grease them. So, uh, I mean, we're kind of getting a better deal all the way around. These KSPs are serviceable. You can't they do have the grease irks. So, let's go ahead and uh, get this wheel and tire off. And uh, we'll go ahead and look and see what you got to do to change that out. But let's get it. All right, guys. So, we got that bad boy off. Let's get a little bit closer to look. Guys, this is, we just need to get in here and clean some of this stuff up. This truck used to be clean. It just, it ain't no more. I mean, we got a, a leaking axle boot. We got a lot of work that needs to be done in this truck, guys. Don't worry. I'm going to bring you guys along for the ride. We're just getting started. But, first things first, as, uh, as you can see, a lot of people complain about the control arms touching the struts. The Detroit axle touch them. So, and a lot of people complain on the KSPs about them touching them. But this, you got to realize, guys, this is at full droop. Uh, you're not going to be reaching full droop very often. Uh, if you hit a real big pothole, you might, but it's not going to be something you see uh, all the time. Uh, just going down the road. So, but anyway, guys. So, how basically how this works? You're going to take this nut off. This does have a little uh, Allen head on the bottom of it, so you can just unscrew that. As you can see, guys, the boot is very dry rotted and almost about to tear. If I had to say, on that ball joint, it's got a bolt that runs through here, a nut right there, and the head of it's right there. Same thing here, head right there, nut right there. Pull that bad boy off, put the KSP in there, bolt them up on both sides, bolt it in here, and guys, we'll be good to go. So uh, I'll be right back with you guys when I get this done. I don't have nobody to video for me today, sadly. So no cool montages or anything like that. But let's get it. All right, guys, so take your uh, knuckle right there, your little nut, put it on right there. We're going to separate the ball joint from the knuckle. Sometimes this can be a little aggravating. I got a little buddy right here to help out with that. It's a little dead blow. I may have to upgrade. We'll just have to, have to give her a good talking to oh this is gonna be hard to do with the camera give me just a second guys i'm gonna whack on it and I'll just give them a good old one two and uh i'll be right back with you guys and all right guys there we go a couple good taps best place probably hit it about right there that's just as hard as you can a couple times and uh so what's gonna happen is that as you can see the control arm pulls up out of that knuckle you can take your socket or your wrench whatever you got pull that nut off and there you go guys that's mainly just make sure that it doesn't fly off and shoot out of the knuckle uh, it's just kind of a little bit more controlled way to do it. But now all you got to do is take your nut off, take these two out, replace it, and uh, put it back on. So I'll give it be with you guys when I get this pulled out. All right, guys, we're back. And as you can see, the control arm is still on there, and there's one good reason for that. So the nut is off that bad boy. Watch this. You know what it's sitting right there? A good old shock. Uh, no biggie, but I'm just going to let you guys know that way you're not as surprised as I was when it's stuck so basically we just gotta take these nuts off the top i'm gonna take a little pry bar get on this pry the top of it out pull it out and then uh swap out the control arm and do all that fun jazz i don't know why the bolts aren't in there the other way uh that'd probably be a lot a little bit a little bit better design but i guess it's because they're so long it hit that bad boy but nonetheless guys we're just gonna take bolts off the top pry the strut down and then uh get the bolts out and uh we're gonna run it. All right, ladies and gents, that was a little bit more of an ordeal than it should have been. Uh, if you do have a leveling kit, you actually don't have enough clearance to put a proper on the shock and pull it down. If you don't have a leveling kit, no biggie. 
pry bar on a shock, pull the top out, do your stuff, put it back in there. Good to go. Get your bolts out. Um, what I had to do is take that bottom bolt out. It's a 30 millimeter nut. Undo the nut, get the bolt out, good to go. And just pull your shock out just off of the lower control arm right there like I did. And you see it drops where I have enough space. So guys, let's go ahead and jump over here. Right here. I right, guess So this is the two A-arms together side by side. So as you can see, especially right in here, see how much thicker this is. Uh, there's supposed to be a little bit of a length difference. Uh, I'm not sure on which side of the A-arm. But supposedly the length, length difference is what's going to help with the angle on that. You can pop this cap off and there is a Greek grease zerk there and of course when we get done with everything they come apart so you got the bushing like that and I get the bushing for your bolt slide and uh but other than that guys i'll go ahead and get this one put together and throw it in the truck and i'll be back with you yeah, in just here we go guys so we got everything put in them so uh i think the best way to do this is with a press but if you don't have a press don't worry guys you can still put these in basically find you something flat i'm just using this grill for an example definitely don't you go outside and use your grill for this Get you a little rubber mallet and you can drive them right in. A little bit of grease around these. I actually send some grease put around them. A little grease around these, so will slide right through. Just tap them in and it'll be good to go. Well, guys, let's, uh, let's throw the truck and uh, let's put all this back together. And, uh, we'll see what all right, like. guys, I just wanted to go ahead and say I got a little bit ahead of myself and went ahead and threw the wheel on before I grabbed the camera again. But guys, ain't no biggie. We can still see what we're looking at. I'll spin you guys around here, give the camera time to adjust. So, this is going to be the angle on the new control arm. And now, granted, the suspension has not settled. I just let it down. So it's still picked up pretty high. So that angle will go down uh, after ride height is reached. But guys, just some tips. Uh, put a little grease along these, uh, the rubber uh, right here on the A-arms. So what that's going to do is allow them to slide right in there. As you can see, I put a lot on this one. So it just, it was, I mean, it slid right in there, guys. No issue. It's amazing what a little lubrication can do for these things. Uh, go ahead and oil your top shock mounts too. It just makes it easier because these got always got a lot of grit in them. So it makes it a little easier uh, on yourself when you're putting them back together. But guys, like I said, uh, we're going to do a lot, a lot of stuff with this truck. Um, we're, we're thinking, we're just kind of throwing around ideas. After I get the transmission fixed, we're kind of going to kind of decide what we got going on. I really would like to pull the engine out of the truck and do the timing job, the uh, mailing high volume oil pump, and the plugs. Guys, I don't know why in the world, we're, there we go, I don't know why in the world we're having a, uh, we can see me. But anyway, guys. I'm gonna do the, uh, I really wanna do the timing job, the mailing high volume oil pump. Um, I really just wanna go ahead and do the heads, do the head gasket, get them decked, cleaned up, maybe new valves, I don't know. Really wanna tear into the motor and get it cleaned up to make the truck uh, very reliable. It's got 190,000 miles on it and it's been great up until then. But guys, that's how you keep these things running is keep on top of your maintenance and keep them uh, in tip top shape. So that's what we're trying to do here. Uh, I'm just putting the stuff on as I go. Uh, like I said, guys, this takes a lot of time and money and neither one of those I have right now, I am still in school, but I do, uh, I do work, you know, 50, 60 hours a week in a factory and still go to school. So kind of got a lot on my plate at the moment. But guys, don't worry. The content is about to start rolling out. Uh, anybody that keeps up with my channel, I uh, actually got some big news. We sold the Ranger and we've ordered something else and it'll be here at the end of May. So here pretty quick, we're going to be having some pretty cool content, some stuff I think is going to be awesome. So uh, make sure you stay tuned for that. Uh, we've got a couple of big rides coming up. One of them is going to be at Busco Beach, if you know what I'm saying, guys. Anybody that knows where that's at, uh, keep an eye out for that. But anyway, guys, hope y'all have enjoyed. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. Uh, make sure to click that like and subscribe, and uh, appreciate it. Peace.